Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Emmanuel Lukafo and I hope you guys are doing well. So in this video, we'll be looking at, we'll be diving more in depth into rigging with Pupa add-on. So like from the previous video, which I just showed you how you can quickly get started with Pupa. In this video, I'm going to show you um, some more customization tool that can really help you get very high quality um, looking binding and rig. So let's get started. So the first we'll be looking at is previewing your rig. So currently um, we, we have um, just place the dots in this character and we can go ahead and actually just select a binding type and hit OK and we can get a good decent result but to get like even high quality uh, results you want to make sure that every joint is located at the right position um, so to do that you can preview the meta rig so you can just check on preview meta rig and hit OK so this is the preview of the rig that will actually have binded the character. So what this allows you to do is actually go into the edit mode and move this around to kind of place it to the exact position which you want so you can get the um, best movement and binding of your character. Um, so um, one thing you want to do that would be really helpful if you go to tools, you want to check on X mirror. Um, what this allows is that once you move one part, um, the other part moves alongside. Um, another very efficient use of this tool is for asymmetrical characters. So if I turn off the X mirror and now it allows me to adjust um, different, um, adjust the bones to my different mesh positions and then we can bind it and it's going to bind accordingly. So since this is a symmetrical character, we can just enable the X symmetry and just push this in place. So we can do the same thing here. So cursor to selected, selected to cursor. So you can just go in and adjust this as much as you want. And um, you can actually even delete this bone if you don't need it. So this is what we have currently and we can then go ahead and bind this. So to bind it after making changes like this, you just need to select this particular meta rig and go to bind character, uncheck the preview meta rig and then having this selected you can just hit ok of course you want to make sure all the meshes you need to bind are inside this collection um, parameter so once you select the right collection and the correct bending type which you're using you can go ahead and hit ok and it's going to go ahead and bind it as i said so let's quickly try an instant for X asymmetrical characters. So let's select this to mesh and let's just pose it differently from this character. So I'm going to turn on my proportional edit tool and just rotate this slightly. Okay, so this is what we have. And we can bind this by just um, make sure we turn off the X symmetry and we can move this into place. And turn on snapping. And so make it easy to move everything accurately. So you can just move it into place to match the current pose of your character. And once you have that, uh, you can select the rig like we did earlier. Go to bind, um, make sure you have everything set and hit OK. Okay, as you can see, it has created a rig to match the current position of your character. And the great thing about Pupa, and since we're using a retarget engine, like I said during the installation video, um, any animation you have will just automatically translate um, nicely. So let's do a simple work. So as you can see, we have it looking good. So we can try another one. So the position doesn't really matter. Um, so this is um, this pose is called um, expand. This is um, holding work, so it's probably holding something. That's why it's like that. 
um so we'll talk about more tools in the next video so just keep watching this playlist and you will have all the information you need to know about pupa so thank you so much for watching this video bye bye for now and see you next time